All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with David Muir at his art exhibition, Pieces of Jamaica, here in Sunrise. David, how are you doing today? Well, I'm great, you know, happy, wonderful time. Today's a special day. Wonderful turnout for my show. I could not be happier. Everything is with this is fabulous. This is a really special day for me. Yeah, you had quite a turnout here today. I was at the last one. I had quite a turnout that time. It seems like you've got such a, a following, a great following, that they can't get enough of your work. Well, I, I like the sound of that. So hopefully we'll see the pieces leaving the walls very soon. But sincerely, it's more than just my work. It's about the whole mix of the visual and the performing arts, and people love it. And I think it's a great energy, and we hope to continue it. Uh, this effort, the pieces of Jamaica, is only going to burst into things that are bigger than this. And so I'm glad that you're interviewing me to tell more people about what is the experience. Hopefully, we can share some video with them so that they can get to see the energy, the people that show up, and what it is to see that energy that comes from being a part of this visual art along with the performing artists that come together. It's, it's an incredible it's a vibration that creates a wonderful outcome, you know? I have to ask you a question here about the whole environment and what you're creating here because some people don't believe that Jamaican art, Jamaican culture can be displayed in such a way that it's, you know, it's, it's exquisite. Okay, and what you have created here today with the, the violins, with the, the acoustic guitar, with the visual art here, with you know people mixing and mingling and you know the wine, etc., etc., has just made this one of these very unique events. Was this your idea? Of, was it the concept of doing it this way? You know, your ultimate idea of showing Jamaica and showing Jamaica. Talk to me about it, about the set. It's not that hard, you know, David. What happened is that. Really, the vision is this. We want to give you quality entertainment. So it's not about trying to reproduce on anything anybody else has done, which is the same end with my art. It's all about trying to be original and give something that's class and quality. I genuinely don't care what other people do in their production, but my production is for the people. Everything that we did here is because of what I know people would enjoy. I've been working with people in entertainment my whole life. This is not very difficult to understand. This is what they want. You touch on something that I think is crucial. It doesn't even matter whether we serve wine or we serve Heineken or Guinness or any kind of beverage. It's, it's about how you mix sincerely true art. Because I could just put, you know, let's just say for arguments with the popular artists of today, whoever that is, whether it's Sean Paul or. And I could try and use like a hype event. But the thing about it is that what we're really promoting here is young performing artists who have a real skill and talent. Not, not the same art, hopefully the same for my work. It's not about trying to give people what mainstream media has been telling them is good. It's what we know is quality. We're working on real true quality. And once you give it to people, they're going to enjoy it. So it's just been great. This, what you see here, is going to be replicated over and over and over again. And we're going to have a lot of good time because we're not going based on somebody else telling us what it's good. We're going to what we know is quality. And this is what you see here today. Yeah, great, great. Um, I can't talk enough about how everybody's enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm liking the art. And one of the questions I wanted to ask is, I noticed that there's a lot of focus, especially in the middle area of the art, on people. And, and I think you have a time for capturing people in, I don't want to say the right moment, because there's never the right moment. But you seem to have a talent of, of just capturing this moment that, that seems to tell a particular story about each picture that has a person in it. Talk to me about, you know, that very moment when you snap the shot and when you think you have the right shot and, and, and you know, why, you know, we see a lot of people in the world. Well, the reason you see the people is because I'm about being genuine. It's just like we talk about the performing artists. If I was trying to sell work to people, I know what we could do to sell. We could easily take a picture through a window of the ocean or we can go on the beach or we can take a, a bunch of fruit and put in a basket and take a nice picture and we'll sell. What I'm doing will not sell. Nobody wants to buy a picture of a man doing this work and put it in their house. But that's not what